I am Arnold Airside E-Cadet Major Dylan Thors, and I'd like to welcome you to the 24th Annual Challenger Columbia Memorial. First, I would like to thank everyone for coming. I would like to send in a special thanks to the Detachment 105 Drill Team. We meet here this morning to pay tribute to the members of the Challenger and Columbia Space Shuttles. These brave men and women would not only give their lives for their countries, but for the betterment of all mankind. As we continue to push our limits to space and beyond, we will always be reminded of the tragedies of the past, yet never forgetting those who gave the ultimate sacrifice to the rest of mankind is why we are here today. Let us never forget. the surely bottoms of earth, and danced the skies on laughter silvered wings. Sunward I've climbed and joined the tumbling mirth of sun split clouds and done a hundred things you have not dreamed of, wheeled and soared and sung, swung high in the sunlit silence. Hovering there, I've chased the shouting wind along and flung my eager craft through footless halls of air. Up, up the long delirious burning blue I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace, where never lark or even eagle flew. And while with silent lifting mind I've trod, the high, untrespassed sanctity of space put out my hand and touched the face of God. John Gillespie McGee, Jr. The Columbia Crew. Rick Douglas' husband was the commander of the Space Shuttle Columbia on his second spaceflight experience. He received over 3,800 hours of flight time and over 40 different types of As long as the sky is blue and the wind blows, you will live on with us forever. Off we go into the wild blue yonder, climbing high into the sun. Here they come, zooming to meet our thunder. Adam boys, give her the gun. Down we die, spouting our flame from us. 